Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a anti-help video and if you have never heard of an anti-help video before, basically what I'm going to do is go through a list of products that I am not going to be buying. I feel like nowadays it's so tempting to buy every single product that comes out in the beauty industry, especially like palettes and highlighters because that's just the big craze right now. And 99% of the time I am that person that tries to buy every single thing possible but I'm still in college and I only work a part-time job. Obviously it is impossible for me to buy every single thing that I want on the day that it comes out. So I'm just going to be going through a few products that I have decided that I'm never going to buy or not never, okay never say never, but I've decided that I'm not going to buy at least right now or in the near future, but never say never, like I said. If you guys are wondering what's on my eyes, it is the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette, and I actually followed the Jaclyn Hill tutorial where she did like the gold and then the blue underneath. I will link that video down below in case you were wondering. I thought that this look was really, really pretty, and I had work this morning, and I work in a makeup store, so I love to do my makeup as drastic as I can, like use any excuse I can to have wazy wazy <laughs> to have crazy and wild makeup. If I'm looking down, it's probably because I'm looking at my phone. It's not because I'm like, you know, texting or something. But anyway, so I made a folder on my phone that has all the newest products that I went, basically went through trend mode and like <laughs> screenshot of things that I don't want to buy. So the very first product that I want to talk about I'm also going to put like little pictures of each product in the corner here so you can see the product that I'm talking about as I'm talking about it. Okay, so the first thing that I'm not going to be buying is the Nikki Tutorials and Overall Cosmetics collab. Okay, so I want to like backtrack a little bit. I love Nikki Tutorials. She has amazing tutorials. She's super talented. She has hooded eyes like me, so I, you know, I used to follow her eyeshadow tutorials all the time. But I bought the Too Faced collab with her like months ago before I even... Before I really started to become a fan of her, you know, like I was subscribed to her but I wasn't really following her tutorials, so I bought it then and I was so unhappy with it. I almost returned it but I work at Ulta so I don't like returning things, but I was so disappointed in like how terrible the quality was. So obviously I'm a little weary with any collab that comes out with any YouTuber um, because of that you know, they, they suck you in with saying the collab is with this specific YouTuber when actually maybe the products aren't going to be as good as usual because they know that they got you because of the YouTuber, you know what I'm saying? So like obviously I'm a little hesitant to try it because of that, but honestly that's not the reason why. Like if it was something that I was interested in, I would buy it anyway. First of all, like the highlighter, I'm only going to be using two out of the three shades in the highlighter and I know you can like mix it or whatever, but this entire set is $59 with her discount code. So like regularly priced, it's like $70 or $80. Like that's ridiculous for what you're getting. I mean, don't get me wrong, I know Ofra is like a higher end brand and it's pretty expensive, but for three lipsticks and a highlighter, when I'm not gonna use two out of the three lipsticks and then one out of the three shades in the highlighter, it's so not worth it for me. Plus, I don't I mean I'm not saying I don't know if this is completely true, but the shipping is probably another like what five or six dollars and like that's just something I cannot afford right now honestly and I'm not never ever gonna wear that coral shade I'm never gonna wear the black shade and honestly that nude shade looks pretty light like I like kind of deeper nudes honestly I don't think I would ever use it the only reason I would get it is for review purposes but it's kind of already past the whole excitement of it and she just said that she's coming out with singles so I don't like that because she made all these people rush out and get the set and now like she's releasing it as a single like so basically all the people that spent all their money on stuff that they're not going to use now they have a chance to buy it single you know what I mean like I don't know I didn't they should have done that either from the beginning or just not done it at all so that's something that really pisses me off just so the next thing that I want to talk about is this new Natasha Denona sunset palette I want to try Natasha Denona so bad. I almost bought it at the VIB sale. I literally take the palette in my hands and I hold it and I can physically not hand it to the cashier. I'm like, I cannot pay this amount of money for eyeshadows. I've never tried them so I don't know. Maybe the quality is out of this world and it is worth $200, $300. But this palette that I'm talking about right now is $130. I'm just thinking about how many palettes I could get for the price of that. Good quality palettes too, like palettes that I'll use. I mean this, don't get me wrong, this is gorgeous, it reminds me of the Modern Renaissance palette, but I, I physically cannot 
hand that money to the cashier or click checkout online. Even using Ebates, like, I can't do it. I just, I can't do it. So the next thing that I want to talk about is the Becca and Chrissy Teigen highlighter palette collab. First of all, I don't really like Becca because of what they did to Jaclyn Hill, so I'm not 100% sure what happened. Obviously no one is, but I feel like they kind of shaded her by releasing the Prosecco Pop single. So for that reason, I'm not really into Becca lately. But another thing is, these shades, they seem too dark for me. Like, obviously Chrissy Teigen is darker than I am, so she should make shades that will work for her skin tone, but they're just not going to work for mine. And, like, I'm not going to spend my money on something... First of all, I have so many highlights, like a ridiculous amount of highlights and blushes. I'm just not going to spend my money on something that I'm not going to use. But keep in mind, I haven't gotten it in store yet. So if I see it in store and it's something that I think I'm going to wear, maybe I'll buy it. But just for right now, I know I'm not going to go online and like pre-order or whatever. I mean, I've seen swatches, I'm looking at swatches right now, and it just, it doesn't seem something that I'm going to be interested in. So, I mean, I like Chrissy Teigen, I like Becca, but just, just not a fan of the collab. And it's kind of random, like it's cool, but it's kind of random, you know? I don't know, whatever. The next thing I want to talk about is the Lorac Cosmetics Pirates of the Caribbean Eyeshadow Palette. I'm not going to buy the lipsticks either, so I guess I should put that in this category also, but I bought the face palette. I know, you guys are probably like, what, what the hell? But I did. I literally love it. Like, I love this palette. It is so gorgeous. The shades are, like, super muted, which is what I really like on the face. I love the palette. But when I was swat, I mean, I don't know how many times I have to say this. You guys know, but I'm just going to say it again. Like, I work in Ulta, so I literally walk around and swatch all day. That's all I do at work. Not, not all I do. Okay, that's like a big part of my job at work is to like swatch stuff and like and like be familiar with the products. So I've swatched this eyeshadow palette so many times. It's just like it's it's a dud, honestly. Like, I mean, the colors look beautiful. And I watched Samantha March. I don't know if you guys know her, but I'm gonna link her down below. Um, I'll link her video of like the collection. I watched her review, and like the colors look so pretty on her. But like I, I mean, with my color eyes. My eyes are like weird, not weird, but like they're a different colors, so it's hard to find shadows that'll actually make them stand out. And I feel like those colors are just not gonna be good for my eyes. Maybe like the red or like that seafoam green is really pretty, but it's just not, I don't know, for like 50 something dollars, I, <laughs> I just don't want it. The next product that I'm not going to be buying is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. I know, like, shame me or whatever, but. I can't, like, I can't spend the money on this glow kit. First of all, I just bought the Nicole glow kit. I'm still, like, kind of obsessed with it. So why am I going to go buy another glow kit? I know, I just bought the Lorac one, whatever. But I'm not going to go buy another glow kit and have it be, like, blue and purple and green. Like, I'm not going to use those colors, you know? Like, yeah, I'm a makeup artist, I guess, and I do YouTube, but I don't put green on my highlighter, you know what I mean? Like, but I don't use green highlighter, you know what I mean? Like, I have the holograph, I have a few holographic highlighters. I have a ton of glow kits that I barely even use because I like my single highlighters better, but I'm still trying to find the Sweets glow kit. If anybody knows where they can get that, leave me, leave me that down below. But, um, I don't know. I just look at it and I'm like, eh, eh. I mean, I thought about it, like, when I first saw it, but just because it's not an Anastasia Glow Kit, it's not because it's something I actually want to buy. Okay. Another product that I'm not going to be buying is the Violet Voss Pro Matte Matte About You Palette. I want it. Like, I so, 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 so want it. But I want the Laura Lee palette more, first of all, so if I'm going to buy anything, it's either going to be the Laura Lee or the Ride or Die. This is not calling my name at all. I have palettes that look like this. Um, the Tartlet, the first Tartlet kind of reminds me of it. Like, maybe a mixture of, like, the first Tartlet and the Tartus Pro. Like, I just have these colors a thousand times. And yes, obviously, it's cool to have all the shadows in one place. Why did I just do that? Like, one place. Um, <laughs> to have them all, like, in one palette, like, super matte. But I never do an all matte look. So it's like... I'm going to have to use other palettes anyway, and I hate using more than one palette on an eye look. More cool tone colors, like, on the left side of the palette... Eh, I have these colors, I don't use them, so if anything I would use last two columns, but just not worth it to me. And I hate Violet Boss. Literally their shipping is ridiculous. It's like $9 for shipping, 
It just bothers me. Like, you got... But it's not like, spend $50, get free shipping. It, no, they just don't have, ever have free shipping. It's so annoying. Okay. The last thing is definitely going to surprise you guys if you guys have been watching my videos. So, as most of you, or at least my subscribers, if they're watching this video, my, like, older subscribers, may know, I freaking love Kylie Cosmetics. I love everything about them. I love their highlighters. I love their eyeshadows. I love their lipsticks. Like, I'm wearing the literally gloss right now. I freaking love Kylie Cosmetics, and I love Kylie Jenner. But I do not want the Kim Kardashian West thing. Like, what the frig? I wanted them to release liquid lipsticks. What is this cream formula? I don't know if you guys have seen Jeffree Star's video, but he kissed his boyfriend and like it came off. It was all on his lips. I hate that. Like, I'm so into liquid lipsticks now that I never ever wear gloss. This is the only time I've ever worn gloss in like 15 years, honestly. I hate gloss. I mean, the only reason I'm wearing it now is because my liquid lipstick was on before and it gave me that like ring, like the butthole ring. So I'm like, ah, oh, let me just throw gloss on. Anyway, I want liquid lipstick. Like, if these colors were made in lip liquid lipstick form, dead. Like, the packaging's beautiful. I love Kim, too. I love Kim and Kylie. Just, and just the fact that I love Kylie Cosmetics. Like, I would totally buy it. But they just, they killed me with this cream formula. I know I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to waste my money on it. It's $45. Like, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kylie. Like, I just can't. Please, please, please make these liquid lipstick formulas. And I will literally buy them all. Every single one. Except the set. So just, I'll just buy the set. On that note, that's all that I have to say for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you guys are buying or if you bought any of these products. Um, any of the products that I talked about today. And, yeah. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. And used to be. No more hangover